Good afternoon and welcome to the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh in our mural unveiling ceremony. My name is Flor Elizabeth Hernandez Lara. It is my honor to be your program host for today at this great event. To begin our program, it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Andrew Lovett, Chancellor of the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh, who will bring greetings this afternoon. First of all, thank you for letting me be a part of this incredibly joyous occasion. This is a day that's been a long time in coming. Uh, and I, th I think it's still, you know, with the weather outside, it's still f just fighting us a little bit on that, but we're going to push through and get it done. Public art humanizes and invigorates public spaces. This piece, same song, provides a visible representation of the values this institution is striving to achieve. All are supported and valued. That is, our, that is what we are striving to achieve. Every time I've been on this campus, you, your students have done something extraordinary. The last time I was here, it was a food bank that bubbled up from students seeing the need and making it happen. And now there's a place where you can go if, you, if you're experiencing food insecurity. This is a bigger issue that we look at today and why is this so important? You know, art is one of those external expressions of who we are. It's with us no matter what the time period is, no matter what's going on in 20 or 30 years, it's still there expressing what we felt and knew at the time. And we know we have a lot of work to do in this country related to diversity, but thank goodness we have a young generation coming up that will push us and continue to push us, not just push, reach your hands out and show us what can be gained by respecting everyone and involving everyone. In a little time that I've had to read and research the mural that you guys are doing, I was very, really impressed by how you really demanded and really pushed for this to happen. You didn't take no for an answer. You kept pushing and then you made a way, created your own path, uh, uh, developed a project plan, all of those things to make it happen. And you did a phenomenal job at that. I would encourage you to continue to let that be a statement for your life. So you will build these murals in every area of your life as you leave UWO and you go on to whatever your job will be, your career will be, in your family, that you will build a mural for justice, for equity, for diversity, and for inclusion. It has been my pleasure in the past three years to have worked with an amazing, amazing student task force. They work tirelessly, and I've witnessed this. So has Joanne and, and Leslie from our weekly meetings to um, uh, the, the entire process from selecting the location, finding the funding, and then finally having the piece installed and up. When we formed this task force three years ago, no one knew what this mural would look like, how long it would take, or what it would take to make it a reality. We knew and agreed this mural is what our campus needed. The task force was composed of students of all backgrounds that shared the same obstacles and not feeling at home at this predominantly white institution. Finding the same sense of community was something we struggled with as underrepresented students. Our goal for this mural is to help connect future and current Titans to help them feel accepted, welcome, and celebrated for their unique and diverse backgrounds, whatever these may be. We will now step outside to have the unveiling of the mural. Please follow Mike Kuchong and Byron to the front of the building. <laughs> 